Having done more than a dozen videos on this channel showing you some of the most useful Chrome extensions, we'll now do a roundup of our top 10 favorites. We'll show you the absolute best in a variety of categories, including a great replacement for one that is no longer supported by Chrome. All mentioned can be used with Chrome and other Chromium-based browsers like Brave, Microsoft Edge, Opera, and Vivaldi. Let's get started. First up, Grammarly is still the best to help eliminate spelling, grammar, and other writing errors. It's better than those built into other services, including other AI assistants, and can be used on most sites where you write on the web, including Google Docs, Gmail, Facebook, and many others. It's so easy to use, a caveman could use it. Just look for the errors underlined in red, then hover your cursor over those errors to see the suggested fixes to correct those issues. Click the corrected text in green to fix the problem. Grammarly does offer both free and paid plans. For free, it offers the basic features most people would ever need, and their pro plan with more advanced features is $12 per individual per month. Print Friendly is great for those times you need to print out a page from the web to get rid of the unnecessary ads and images. This can help to reduce the number of pages printed, saving on paper and printer ink. On a page like this with tons of ads, embedded video, and other clutter, here at the top, to the right of the address bar, click the Print Friendly icon, and then click on Print Friendly Page. You'll notice this looks a lot better without all of the clutter. There are various tools at the top to adjust the size of the text and page size. There are editing tools and a highlighter. And when you're ready to print it out, click Print here at the top. You can also save it to your computer as a PDF, email it to someone, or take a screenshot of it. This will be a quick one. Volume Master is a fantastic extension. For those times, the volume is too low on a YouTube video, the dialogue for a show you're watching on your computer is too low, or any other time you need to increase the volume. To use it, simply click on the Volume Master icon to the right of the address bar. Using the slider, you can boost the volume up to 600%. Just be careful with this, not to blow out your speakers. If you're having difficulty hearing the dialogue because of loud music or some other reason, clicking Voice Boost should help. For those of you that use Google Drive Cloud Storage, this extension from Google called Save to Google Drive is quite useful to save web content like videos, website links, images, and various types of files to your Google Drive to view at a later time. For example, when you're signed in to your Google account, if you see a link on a web page you'd like to save for later, right click on it and select Save Link to Google Drive. Also, if you see an image that you want to save, right click on it and select Save Image to Google Drive. It's that easy. Of course, when doing a top 10 of Chrome extensions, Dark Reader is one that needs to be included. Using it enables a dark mode on most websites by inverting the colors, making them easier to read and easier on your eyes. For example, on a site like this with a ton of white space, for some, it can be hard on their eyes. To enable Dark Reader, click on its icon to the right of the address bar and select On. With it turned on, for me, with the colors inverted, it's easier to look at. There's other settings you can play around with. Switching from dark to this extension's light mode is less bright than a typical website. And you can adjust the brightness, contrast, sepia, and grayscale. I should mention that this extension is completely free. If you want, you can donate to the developer by clicking on Pay for Using Dark Reader. This will open a new web page. If you're able to help out to support the further development, they're asking for a one-time payment for individuals of around $10 and for organizations around $20 per user. For security reasons, I'll mention this one briefly. Bitwarden is the absolute best password manager, free or paid. While Chrome does offer its own password management solution, Bitwarden has improved security and a bunch of advanced features. The free plan for Bitwarden has just about every feature most people would ever need and can be used on unlimited devices. Their premium plan for just $1 per month adds additional features, including the ability to encrypt file attachments. If you shop on Amazon, Keepa is a must-have extension. 
similar to the website Camel 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 mentioned in our useful websites videos. Keepa gives you price charts to help make sure you're getting the best deal. Once Keepa is installed, when you're on a product page on Amazon to see the price chart, scroll down below the initial description. Unlike Camel Camel Camel, Keepa embeds this on the Amazon product page itself. With the chart, you can add or remove filters here on the right. Right now, this external hard drive, brand new, is on sale for around $162. And we can see here that at its peak, let's find it here, brand new was around $229. So right now, it's a pretty good deal. If you have an account with Keepa and select Track Product, when you set a desired price and select Start Tracking, you'll get notified when the price drops below what you entered here. As many of you know, uBlock Origin, the popular ad blocking extension, is no longer supported in Chrome. The best alternative right now is uBlock Origin Lite, and it's from the same creator. It's good at blocking ads, trackers, and crypto miners. It works a little bit differently. Click on its icon to the right of the address bar, and you'll see that it has four filtering modes, no filtering, basic, optimal, and complete. I'm not completely against ads because these sites do depend on them. For that reason, I tend to keep it on basic. And on here, some ads will slip through. On sites with way too many ads that take up a third or half a page, I switch this to complete. A good complement to uBlock Origin Lite is Privacy Badger. Created by the Electronic Frontier Foundation, it automatically blocks trackers based on behavior that other blocking extensions may have missed, including the link click tracking on Facebook and Google. When you click the Privacy Badger icon, it will show you the trackers that are being blocked on the site that is surprisingly still around and potential trackers are being blocked. For each domain listed, if the slider is all the way to the left in red, it means that it's blocking everything from that domain. In the center, in yellow, it's blocking cookies only. And if the slider is all the way to the right, in green, it's allowing everything. I would not recommend messing with these because it could cause some websites to not load properly. Extensity is one I mentioned in a random Chrome extensions video earlier this year. Because this is a top 10, I'm required to mention it again. This extension makes it easy to quickly enable and disable the extensions you have installed so you don't have too many enabled slowing down your browser. When you click on its icon to the right of the address bar, you can see your full list of extensions. Clicking on an extension that is grayed out will enable it, and clicking on one that is enabled disables it. If you want that extension pinned to the right of the address bar, click the extensions icon, find the extension, then click on the pin. You can unpin here as well. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What is your favorite Chrome extension? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell for more top 10s and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.